Oh, hi there. Welcome to this video, which you probably clicked because you're either out of app ideas or website ideas, or you actually do have a good startup idea that you would like to work on, or you're actually working on, but you don't have the necessary, let's say, UI design skills that some other graphic designers probably do have, which is the case with me personally, because I can write code, I'm a full stack developer, I can write code for the front end, the back end, but I'm not a UI designer, I'm not sure which color palette to use, I'm not sure which font works the best, I just like almost pretty much any good looking design out there for websites and apps. Now, the question is, how do you, without spending any money at all, find such good designs and implement them? for your product or you actually draw the inspiration from there to build your own startup. Well, that's very easy and you probably don't have to fall into either one of those two categories. You may just want to build something to impress an employer after you graduate or you maybe you have already graduated. You want to expand your GitHub portfolio or you want to do some web design. You want to design something for a client. This is pretty much one stop shop video for you. So essentially what you want to do is check out those five resources that I have found that can help you out with anything that is UI related, even if you're not good at UI. Now in this video, I'm not just going to show you those five resources. I'm going to go through each one of them, explain how it is beneficial to you, as well as undertake maybe one or two example projects, UI design projects that you can actually use for your business and break them down into several components, give you the exact workflow I follow when it comes to taking a UI design on Dribble or maybe some other website. And then once you take that design, turn it into code, which means pretty much once you write the front end code, you may use Bootstrap, you may use Ionic Framework or something like that. So anyway, before we jump on, Make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button if you enjoy the content and you want to see more content just like this. I invested quite a bit of money into the new setup, which is pretty awesome. And I'll make probably a new room tour uh, of my new room since I moved rooms. But anyway, that is irrelevant to this video. With no further ado, let's jump right into the computer. Make sure you grab your cup of tea or your cup of coffee or juice or water or whatever. And let's get started with finding the resources and building something cool. Let's do this. All right, so the very first resource that we are going to take a look at is called Dribble. So Dribble is a website which has quite a lot of different inspirational UI designs that you can use for any website or product design or an app design or whatever. So the, the two things, actually the three things we're gonna take a look at in this website is mobile product design and web design. So let's start with mobile first. So in the mobile section, of course, we got some mobile designs or mobile friendly designs that you can take a look at and draw some inspiration on. So these designs are the popular designs for today. But if, if you wanna take a look at something more specific, maybe you wanna take a look at a banking app or you wanna take a look at a recipe app, you'll have to use the search engine on the top right corner to actually search for that. But now let's take a look at some popular shots right here. So let's take a look at, I don't know, I think this has quite a few different uh, scenes, layouts that we can take a look at. It's travel guide, appointment, and booking app. Cool. So once you click on that, you get a pop-up right here, just like you see this one, this pop-up, and it's got the actual design here. Now, of course, you won't be able to do much with it. You don't get the metrics. You don't get the uh, typography that was used, the fonts. You don't get any of that. You might get the actual color palette used by the design, <clears throat> but it, it, it's probably not going to happen in every single design. Now, what can you do with this? Well, it's pretty simple. You open this app, you give the inspiration. This particular app has got many scenes, so it might be a bit difficult to show all of them. So I'll just show an example of how I would approach to actually starting to turning the design into sort of functional components inside an actual application. So let's take a look at how this workflow would work, for example, in this scene right here. So I'm going to take a quick screenshot just like that. All right, so we got this design right here. So how do we start, how do we approach this design? 
I'll show you the workflow for a mobile app and I'll also show you the exact same workflow, how it can be applied when you are taking the design and you want to implement that into a proper app uh, for a website, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split that into components. So I'm thinking, how would the components look like? How would I implement that in React, for example? Uh, how would I create the divs? So what would I do? So in this particular case, I would actually have this as the heading, All right? So that would be the header. So the header would consist of three elements. So this could be actually a component. This is going to be the, the header. So inside the header, what we, we would actually have is as a heading, which is the hate traveler. So you can see this makes a bit of difference. So it says hate traveler. It's with different color, different uh, ball. It's bolded. So it has different font weight. And uh, we can have this as an H2 or H3 heading. Uh, if you know HTML and CSS, you probably understand what I'm talking about at this moment. If not, that's completely fine. You can do that in your own free time. Learn about HTML, CSS. That's absolutely fine. So down here, we got another element that we can actually that is actually a paragraph so that'll be a paragraph and on the right side over here we actually got an icon that will probably perform some kind of action so what do we have essentially in this first component in the header component we've got a heading which is probably heading one heading two h1 h2 in html uh, we got a paragraph and we also got on the right hand side we got an icon sort of a button which is probably a filter button. Now this uh, can be two separate div elements that could be one div right here that can be one div and this can be a second div so one will be on the left side and the other one on the right side. So we have now drawn our first component so now we have pretty much the first slight idea of how the app will be structured based on the UI design we currently got from Dribbble. Now this is exactly the workflow you are going to follow or at least this is the exact same workflow that I am following when it comes to taking inspiration from UI designs just like a plain screen to the plain image and transforming it into a proper front-end code with HTML, CSS, maybe some JavaScript or JavaScript using React and I need to take a sip. Gosh, I, I like green tea. All right. So, I'm sure you get the idea. All right, next component is this text field, input field. So you have type your keyword and you actually have, so this component can be named search. That's the search bar component. So the search bar has the actual input. So it could be just one element input. And you could probably have this icon appended at the end towards the right side of the input field this is going to be maybe separate depends on how you want to implement this right the next part we're not going to do each and every one of them because as you can see you have to look for repeatable patterns that's a second thing you have to keep in mind when it comes to designs some components within a ui design are actually repeatable so those components will actually be copies with the same exact html css structure the only thing that will be changed inside there is essentially the content it fetches maybe from an API. Let's break this card down into its own sub components or like I want like I call them elements. So they're gonna have the card component. So let me draw this around. I'm gonna add text. I'm gonna name this card. So this is the card component. So the card component consists of several elements. We got the heading, which is the title of maybe the region where somebody goes. I don't know. We got the date. We got, I don't know, maybe a subheading or something like that. We got two labels right here and we got an icon. So let's draw the exact shapes for each one of those things right over here. So we got the title, date, September, which is a label. And we also got another label here. And finally, we also have the actual image. And this is how you can actually do the structuring of the layout that you're probably going to use when you are coding the UI design into proper HTML, CSS code.
So we're going to go back to Dribbble and we're going to go to Web Design right over here. And there are several web design ideas you can actually use to build your own web design for a client or actually build something for your portfolio or for your business, your startup. All right, cool. Let's head on to the next resource, which is Landbook. Landbook, now this is a bit different. Landbook gives you amazing landing page designs. So if you go to the landing page, look at this landing page right over here. It is gorgeous. It gives you a professional website design that you would probably have to pay a specific designer or a UI designer to do maybe hundreds of pounds, hundreds of dollars to get this sort of design down for you, this one page. Now you don't have to because it's for free. So you can just follow the same principle, download the image if you want to and start working it. This, the entire one pager is available for you for free. The next resource, which I'm gonna show you called the one page love, which is an amazing resource for one page websites. Just look at this one pages. Now the next one is Site Inspire. Now Site Inspire is not one of the best places to to get inspiration on, despite the name being Site Inspire. So in this case, what I would recommend you to do is just go. If you don't find any inspiration in Dribble, Landbook, or One Page Love, I'm not sure if you'll find it here. But uh, it's maybe you'll like this type of design. So I I don't know why not. Now the final piece of free source that I would like to show to you is called Call to Idea. Call to Idea. So if you're looking for different widgets or sort of pop-ups models and stuff like that to use into your application, but you're not sure how exactly you want them to look like, there's no problem at all. If you want to build a login component and you want to make it look sty stylish, modern or um, something like that, you just go here to call to idea, you click on the login button that I clicked before on the login image and you get different login inspirations. Amazing resource for components. So these are the five resource websites that you can use to draw your inspiration from. Well, that is the end of the video. I hope you have learned quite a bit of stuff from this video, which you probably have since we covered five different resources that can prove very useful when it comes to coming up with inspiration for your design that you don't have to even pay a single penny and you can use it for your own exercise or maybe display it to, to your portfolio and show it to a future employer. So anyway, if you enjoy the content and you want to see things like this, and if you want to watch and if you want to watch videos just like this, and maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm thinking about making a course, a free course, of course, <laughs> a free course, of course, on my YouTube channel, where I'm going to show you how you can build your own Instagram application using React and on Node.js, Express and stuff like that. So you can build your own fully featured, fully working mobile application. But that's only if you actually want to. So if you want me to do such a course and upload it on YouTube for free, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.